as back to school is gearing up to start for all children, there is still a pandemic they need to maneuver through as well. Different school districts, mask mandates are in full effect. Here to address mask safety for students, Dr. Mean. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Well, okay, quick question. It looks like most districts will require masks indoor but not outdoors. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? I actually think that this is a smart move on the part of the school districts. We know that the great majority of COVID-19 viral transmission is going to happen indoors. And so to prioritize mask wearing indoors and then give the children a break outdoors, to me, seems as though it would not only increase compliance by the kids, but it would also protect them to the best limit of the mask. Now, what about if kids are having to wear masks outdoors? You know, it is 100 degrees or even hotter. Kids are running around. What kind of, um, you know, strenuous uh, activity can that really put on them? I personally think that children, when they're outdoors and playing, particularly in constant motion with one another, they don't need to be in the masks. And, of course, our added heat certainly adds another issue on top of that. So if you are outside, you're sitting in the shade, you're sitting quietly, you're not exerting a lot of physical energy, you aren't really going to be too impacted by breathing through your mask. But if you are out in the hot sun playing throughout recess like many of our kids do, then I do think it is better for the children to remove their masks during that type of physical activity. So BCSD said they will not be enforcing physical distancing. Now, do you think that's effective given the six feet apart rule that was in place last year? I think that we are doing what we need to do to make sure that all children can go to school full time. We realized through the last academic year that distance learning is not ideal and even a hybrid model is not good enough for our children. And so by removing the social distancing, but still implementing masks indoors, we sort of get the best of both worlds. We allow all children to go to school full time, but we protect them from COVID-19 as well. You know, there are some parents out there who say um, for their students or kids wearing masks, it is harmful to them. Um, what do you have to say about that? The studies simply don't prove it. And going above and beyond the studies, we should look at real life. Our children have been in masks since June of 2020. They are incredibly flexible, incredibly adaptive, and they have done fine with their masks. It does not cause them to have low oxygen levels. It does not cause them to have high carbon dioxide levels. And I personally think that it doesn't affect their mental health either. What affected their mental health was not being able to go to school and not interact with their children, with their, with their friends. Yes. So by asking them to wear a mask, but allowing them to go to school, learn from their teachers and see their friends, that is what is actually going to be the most beneficial for our children. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Amin. You provided us so much valuable insight uh, this morning. And hopefully all those parents out there uh, can get their kids ready, uh, you know, for back to school. So thanks again. Of course. And stay with us. We'll be right back.